you like me to do a dance for you? What? Hi, Paul. Paul, okay. give me okay. some moves. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Today, we're peeling back the curtain on 20 guests who delivered some of the most entertaining, controversial, and downright unforgettable TV appearances in history. From jaw-dropping confessions to scandalous stunts, these celebrities made it hard to look away. Some pushed the boundaries of what was appropriate for the time, leaving viewers questioning, did that really just happen? Let's go. Number 1. Donna Summer Donna Summer's appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in 1978 was a true moment in late-night television history. As the queen of disco, she brought her electrifying stage presence and undeniable talent to Carson's stage, captivating audiences worldwide. But Donna used her time on Carson's show to not only showcase her musical talents, but also to challenge outdated stereotypes and sexism. In her interview segment with Carson, Donna Summer proved she was more than just a music sensation. She was a force to be reckoned with. When Carson made a comment about women not being able to fix cars or do mechanical tasks, Summer didn't hesitate to set the record straight. With confidence and wit, she stated, I'm on the mechanics. You can go in and fix anything, girls. You know, they always put women down saying that women are mechanically, uh, you know, inept and so forth. Somebody said that you, uh, oh, you dig all that stuff. Oh, I got it together. Yeah? I'm on the mechanics. You yeah. can go in and, uh... Fix anything. Yeah. That's Shoot. super. That's Girls? Super. Her message was clear. Women could do anything men could do. And they deserved recognition and appreciation for their skills and talents. But Donna's appearance on The Tonight Show wasn't just about challenging stereotypes, it was also a testament to her musical prowess. With her electrifying performance of I Love You, she captivated the audience and solidified her status as a musical icon. Her voice, her presence, her sheer talent, it was all on full display that night, leaving an unforgettable impression on everyone who watched. What other moments do you think made Donna Summer such an unforgettable icon of the music industry? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. Doris Day Ah, let's delve into the captivating world of late-night television, where the legendary Doris Day graced the set of The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, creating an evening that still shimmers in the annals of television history. Can you believe it's been nearly 50 years since that unforgettable night? Despite her earlier appearances, this was the first time Carson had the pleasure of interviewing the effervescent Doris, whom he unabashedly hailed as the best entertainer in the world of their era. And let's be honest, he wasn't far off the mark. Their close bond was clear from the start, as they shared a playful conversation about their neck collars and Doris's refreshingly simple mantra for staying all right. Do what you want to do, John. Simple yet profound advice. As the conversation unfolded, Doris shared stories about her friendships with fellow celebrities like McLean Stevenson, complete with quirky nicknames and hilarious anecdotes. She even revealed her unexpected love for bike riding and cream cheese, proving that behind the glamorous facade was a down-to-earth personality. But perhaps what endeared Doris Day to audiences the most was her genuine affection for her fans. She recounted a heartwarming tale of inviting fans from the Midwest into her home for a swim, referring to them as special people. Her warmth and generosity knew no bounds. Of course, Doris Day's love for animals, especially dogs, was legendary. She spoke fondly of her furry companions, describing them as her stress busters and faithful companions. And when it came time to showcase her real passion, singing, Doris Day didn't disappoint. Despite claiming to be rusty, she treated the audience to a beautiful performance, reminiscing about her days with Les Brown's band and even sharing a playful reference to her marriage to a saxophonist from Carson's band. 
It's moments like these that remind us why she remains an unforgettable icon of Hollywood's golden age. Number 3. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston's debut on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in 1985 was nothing short of spectacular. At just 21 years old, she took the stage with the confidence and poise of a seasoned performer, delivering a mesmerizing rendition of You Give Good Love. It was a moment that would go down in late-night history, marking the beginning of Houston's journey to becoming one of the greatest voices of her generation. With her soulful vocals and magnetic stage presence, Houston captivated the audience from the moment she stepped into the spotlight. Her performance displayed her incredible talent and undeniable star power, earning her a standing ovation from Carson himself and leaving viewers in awe of her abilities as a singer. Houston's debut album, released the same year as her appearance on Carson's show, would go on to become one of the best-selling albums of all time, with over 25 million copies sold worldwide. Her influence on future generations of artists is immeasurable, with countless singers citing her as a major inspiration. Tragically, Houston's life was cut short when she passed away in 2012 at the young age of 48. Her death was a shock to the world and served as a sobering reminder of the dangers of addiction. Nevertheless, Whitney Houston's legacy as one of the greatest voices in music history lives on. Number 4. Cassandra Peterson Cassandra Peterson, better known as the bewitching Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, graced The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson stage on multiple occasions, but it was her electrifying debut in 1981 that solidified her status as a pop culture icon. With her signature black wig, plunging gown, and wicked sense of humor, Peterson captivated audiences and became an overnight sensation. But Peterson's journey to superstardom was anything but conventional. At the tender age of three, she survived a horrific accident that left her with severe burns covering 35% of her body. Despite this early adversity, Peterson emerged resilient and determined to carve out a name for herself in show business. Patterson's groundbreaking portrayal of the Vampy Vixen on Movie Macabre, a weekly horror movie showcase, catapulted her to national fame. With her quick wit, Dauble and Tendress, and e-popping a tear, she became an instant sensation, captivating the hearts and minds of teenagers everywhere. Her appearances on The Tonight Show only served to solidify her status as a cultural phenomenon. With Carson as her host, Peterson dazzled audiences with her infectious charm and irreverent humor, proving that Elvira was more than just a character. She was a force to be reckoned with. Number 5. Diane Warwick Diane Warwick, hailed as one of the most successful singers of all time, brought her legendary talent to The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson with grace, charm, and of course, unforgettable performances. With over 30 years in the music industry and a remarkable 69 songs in the Billboard Top 100, Warwick's appearances on Carson's show were nothing short of iconic. When Warwick graced Carson's stage, audiences were treated to a true superstar in action. Whether she was belting out one of her chart-topping hits or engaging in playful banter with Carson, Warwick always knew how to entertain and delight audiences. Her performances were not just musical spectacles, they were moments of pure magic that left a lasting impression on all who watched. But perhaps what truly set Warwick apart was her willingness to take risks and try new things. Like her surprise stint on The Dean Martin Show where she showcased her acting chops instead of singing, Warwick was never afraid to step out of her comfort zone and challenge herself as an artist. And it was this fearlessness that endeared her to fans and solidified her status as a true icon in the music industry. Number 6. Drew Barrymore Drew Barrymore, a name synonymous with Hollywood royalty, made a splash on late-night television with a memorable appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman in April 1995. Known for her roles in timeless classics like E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Charlie's Angels, 
and 50 first dates, Barrymore's talent and charisma have solidified her status as a beloved actress and cultural icon. During her interview with David Letterman, Barrymore created a moment that would go down in late-night television history. In a bold and spontaneous move, she climbed onto Letterman's desk and flashed him, shocking both the audience and the host himself. This unexpected move shocked both the host and viewers around the world. But what led Barrymore to such a daring act? What many fans may not know is that this infamous incident was inspired by a character Barrymore had created earlier that evening at the Blue Angel Club in New York. Going by the name Lolita, Barrymore had performed a risque comedy act with a friend, never imagining that her antics would find their way onto Letterman's show. Later, in her memoir, Wildflower, Barrymore revealed that the decision to flash Letterman was spontaneous and unplanned, fueled by a sense of liberation and a desire to let go of everything appropriate. But reflecting on the incident later, Barrymore realized that it marked the end of an era for her, prompting her to clean up her image and pursue projects that aligned more closely with her evolving values and aspirations. Number 7. Madonna Madonna, the undisputed queen of pop, lit up the stage of The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson on June 9, 1987, in a way that only she could. Dressed provocatively in lingerie that left little to the imagination, Madonna captivated the audience from the moment she walked in. Carson, ever the smooth host, couldn't help but comment on her bold choice of attire, setting the tone for an electrifying interview. As the conversation unfolded, it became clear that Madonna was not there to play by the rules. Flirting shamelessly with Carson, she displayed a level of confidence that made her impossible to ignore. At one point, Carson expressed his surprise that Madonna had never appeared on a talk show before, considering her massive success in the music industry. In response, Madonna stated, I wanted to present myself as a virgin on television, and if anyone deserved that privilege, it was Johnny Carson. Well, I just, I don't know, I never thought about doing one, but yeah. I figured if I was going to present myself as a virgin to anyone, it should be you. <laughs> the host was left speechless for a moment, and that's not something you see every day. But what was Madonna's game plan? Was it simply a ploy to grab attention? Or was there a deeper strategy at play? Some speculated that her flirtatious antics were a calculated move to generate buzz for her upcoming worldwide tour to promote her Who's That Girl album. After all, controversy has always been Madonna's calling card. And what better way to drum up excitement than with a scandalous appearance on national television? As one of the most influential artists of all time, Madonna has always pushed the boundaries of artistic expression and challenged societal norms. As the queen of pop, Madonna always kept you guessing, and that's what made her truly unforgettable. Number 8. Angelina Jolie Angelina Jolie's appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman in 2004 was a moment that left viewers talking long after the cameras stopped rolling. Known for her talent on screen and her humanitarian efforts off screen, Jolie brought her signature blend of grace and charisma to the interview, but it wasn't without its awkward moments. As Jolie sat down with Letterman to discuss her role in the movie Alexander and her personal life, the conversation took some unexpected turns. Letterman, known for his offbeat humor, kicked things off by asking Jolie if she cooks or bakes to which she responded with a hint of sarcasm. No, I'm not a good woman, Dave. You don't bake? I don't bake. You cook at all? I'm not, I'm not a good woman, Dave. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. It was a playful jab that set the tone for the rest of the interview. Things got even more awkward when Letterman commented on Jolie's fragrance, telling her she smelled great. Then he began to delve into Jolie's personal life asking about her marriage to Johnny Lee Miller. Jolie shared that she was in the process of getting a divorce, leading Letterman to offer some unsolicited advice based on his own failed marriage. The exchange was awkward at best and intrusive at worst, but perhaps the most memorable moment came when the topic of Jolie's tattoos arose. 
When asked about them, Jolie jokingly remarked that she wasn't going to climb on Letterman's desk to show them off. In hindsight, the interview has garnered criticism for Letterman's inappropriate line of questioning and Jolie's discomfort. Fans have praised Jolie for handling the situation with grace and wit, despite the awkwardness of the encounter. So, was Jolie sending a message during the interview with her subtle jabs and restricted demeanor? It's hard to say for sure, but one thing's for certain. She never returned to The Late Show with David Letterman again. Number 9. Raquel Welch Raquel Welch, the epitome of timeless beauty, left an unforgettable mark on late-night talk shows when she appeared on The Dick Cavett Show in June 1970. Dressed in a stunning blue gown that accentuated her figure, Welch's radiant smile and bronzed complexion commanded attention from the moment she stepped onto the set. Cavett, known for his candid approach, pointed out the unfair stereotype that often accompanies sex symbols, that attractive women are often lacking in intellect. Welch remained unbothered, claiming that she had nothing to prove in that regard. As she stated, It's very nice of you to say so, but I don't care about proving anything one way or the other. You're a nice sized lady and all that, but you, you know, you're not exactly what I expected. And I said, I know I always seem to disappoint people if I walk in, in the door. Beyond her undeniable physical allure, Welch's appearance on The Dick Cavett Show showcased her depth as an individual, challenging stereotypes and exuding confidence in her craft. Her ability to navigate discussions about controversial topics with grace and poise solidified her status as not just a sex symbol, but one of the most versatile and talented actresses in Hollywood. Number 10. Elvis Presley Elvis Presley's appearance on The Tonight Show with Steve Allen in 1956 was a groundbreaking moment in television history. Fresh off his skyrocketing success in the music industry, Elvis was invited to perform on Allen's show, marking his first ever appearance on national television. But there was a catch. Steve Allen, known for his quirky humor, decided to have some fun with the performance. Elvis was asked to sing while wearing a tuxedo and serenade a basset hound with a top hat and bow tie. It was a bizarre yet memorable moment in television history. Despite the unconventional setup, Elvis's charisma and talent shone through. He exuded his trademark confidence, swaying his hips and belting out the song with gusto. The audience went wild, and Elvis's performance became an instant sensation. This appearance marked a significant milestone in Elvis's career, catapulting him to even greater fame and cementing his status as the king of rock and roll. It also showcased his versatility as an entertainer, proving that he could handle any situation with style and grace. Number 11. Farrah Fawcett Farrah Fawcett's appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in 1997 was a memorable moment in late-night television history. Known for her iconic role in Charlie's Angels and her timeless beauty, Farrah brought her unique charm and wit to the show. She shared stories about her career, personal life, and experiences in Hollywood. Farrah charmed the audience with her down-to-earth demeanor and infectious laughter, showcasing a side of herself that fans hadn't seen before. One particularly memorable moment from the interview was when Johnny Carson asked her about her famous hairstyle, known as the Farrah Flip. Farrah revealed that she initially resisted the hairstyle, thinking it was too bouncy for her taste. However, after some convincing from her hairstylist, she decided to give it a try. And the rest is history. Farrah also spoke candidly about her struggles and triumphs in Hollywood, offering insight into the challenges faced by women in the entertainment industry. Her honesty and authenticity resonated with viewers, making her appearance on The Tonight Show a standout moment. Despite her untimely passing in 2009, Farrah's legacy continues to live on through her iconic roles and contributions to the world of entertainment. Number 12. Adrienne Barbeau 
Adrienne Barbeau's appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in December 1974 was filled with holiday cheer and some unexpected surprises. At just 27 years old, Barbeau captivated the audience with her charm and wit. During the interview, Barbeau delighted Carson and the audience with tales of the unusual gifts she had received from her lovers over the years. From car repair items to a set of encyclopedias to a fire extinguisher, Barbeau's gifts were certainly unique and memorable. However, Carson couldn't resist delving into more personal territory, particularly regarding Barbeau's romantic life. Barbeau, on the other hand, skillfully navigated the conversation, maintaining her privacy with grace and humor. Beyond her personal life, Barbo's talent as an actress shone through during the interview, demonstrating why she was a rising star in Hollywood. Known for her roles in iconic TV shows like Maud and The Love Boat, as well as her performances in horror films like The Fog and Swamp Thing, she had already established herself as a versatile and accomplished actress by the time she graced Carson's stage. Whether portraying strong-willed characters or embracing the challenges of different genres, Barbo's talent continues to inspire generations of actors and viewers alike. Number 13. Judy Garland Judy Garland, a timeless icon of the silver screen, graced The Tonight Show with Jack Parr in 1962. In her candid interview, Garland's magnetic personality shone through as she charmed viewers with stories from her early years in Hollywood. With humor and charm, she recounted her childhood in showbiz, reminiscing about sharing a classroom with stars like Elizabeth Taylor and Mickey Rooney. Garland's natural talent was evident as she discussed her defining role as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, revealing both the challenges she faced and the joy she found in the experience. Despite the difficulties, Garland's love for the iconic film was evident, endearing her to audiences all over again. Throughout the interview, Garland's warmth and charisma captivated both Parr and the audience, effortlessly weaving her way into the hearts of viewers. Despite the struggles and setbacks she encountered along the way, Garland remained a beacon of strength and inspiration, embodying the enduring spirit of a true Hollywood legend. Number 14. Zessa Zessa Gabor. Zessa Zessa Gabor, the epitome of glamour and sophistication, graced The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in 1966. In a stroke of unexpected brilliance, her appearance coincided with the promotion of the family game Twister by Milton Bradley. Despite the game's initial lukewarm reception, everything changed when Gabor and Carson dedicated the entire episode to playing Twister. The charisma and humor they brought to the game sparked a sensation, leading to over 3 million units sold in just a few months after the interview. Gabor's magnetic presence and Carson's wit turned Twister from a potential flop into a cultural phenomenon. Their playful banter and infectious laughter captured the audience's imagination, breathing new life into the game and securing its place in pop culture history. Beyond her contribution to Twister's success, Gabor's appearance on The Tonight Show highlighted her enduring charm and ability to captivate audiences with her larger-than-life personality. Known for her roles in Moulin Rouge and Touch of Evil, Gabor was already a Hollywood icon before her talk show appearance. And as the curtains closed on her segment, Gabor left an unforgettable impression, proving once again that her star power knew no bounds. Number 15. Sonny and Cher Sonny and Cher lit up the stage when they appeared on The Merv Griffin Show in the 1970s. Their dynamic duo brought a blend of music, comedy, and unmistakable chemistry to late-night television. Before skyrocketing to fame as a singing sensation, Sonny Bono worked odd jobs in Los Angeles, including delivering meat while Cher, born Cherilyn Sarkeesian, started her career as a backup singer. Their appearance on The Merv Griffin Show in 1965 marked the beginning of their rise to fame as a duo. 
The couple's banter was as entertaining as their performances, with Cher's dry wit perfectly complementing Sonny's friendly charm. The duo also performed their hit single, I Got You Babe, which had just been released and was quickly climbing the charts. Their performance captivated viewers and solidified their status as one of the most iconic duos in music history. Additionally, they discussed their journey in the music industry, sharing anecdotes about their early struggles and triumphs. Off stage, their personal lives were equally intriguing. Sonny and Cher's marriage and subsequent divorce in 1975 captivated the public's attention, marking the end of both their personal and professional partnership. Despite their breakup, their legacy endured, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Cher went on to achieve solo success as a Grammy-winning artist and Academy Award-winning actress, while Sonny pursued a career in politics, eventually serving as mayor of Palm Springs, California. But their appearance on The Merv Griffin Show remains a nostalgic reminder of their heyday as one of the most beloved musical duos in history. Number 16. Anne Margaret Anne Margaret appeared on The Tonight Show stage with Johnny Carson in 1972 to challenge the labels that had been placed on her. Despite early struggles with being typecast as a B-movie actress, Anne Margaret used her appearance on the show as a platform to assert her credibility as a serious performer. With five Golden Globe Awards and numerous nominations for prestigious awards like the Academy Awards and Emmys, she reminded the audience and Johnny, of her immense talent and versatility. During the interview, Anne Margaret also delved into her role in Carnal Knowledge, where she starred alongside Jack Nicholson, showcasing her ability to tackle complex and challenging roles. Despite the serious undertones of the conversation, Anne Margaret's charm and charisma shone through, captivating both Johnny and the audience. Born in Sweden and raised in the United States, and Margaret rose to fame in the 1960s as a singer, actress, and dancer. From her breakout role in Bye Bye Birdie to her later roles in films like Tommy and Grumpy Old Men, she continued to impress audiences with her talent and versatility. Despite facing setbacks and challenges, including a near-fatal accident in 1972, she persevered and continued to thrive in the entertainment industry. Number 17. Joan Crawford Joan Crawford, a Hollywood legend of the 1960s, graced the set of The Merv Griffin Show, leaving an indelible mark on late-night television. With her striking beauty and commanding presence, Crawford captivated audiences, but behind the glamour lay a complex personal life that often fueled speculation and rumors. During her appearance on The Merv Griffin Show, Crawford opened up about her illustrious career and offered glimpses into her private world. While adored by fans, her relationships with castmates were sometimes tumultuous, a fact that would later come to light with the release of the tell-all book Mommy Dearest by her daughter Christina. The book painted a darker picture of Crawford, revealing aspects of her life that shocked many and prompted a reassessment of the star. Despite the controversies surrounding her personal life, Crawford remained a captivating presence on talk shows, thanks in part to her undeniable charisma and magnetic personality. Her ability to command attention and engage audiences made her appearances unforgettable, leaving viewers eager for more. Number 18. Dolly Parton Dolly Parton, the award-winning country singer, graced the stage of The Johnny Carson Show numerous times, showcasing her remarkable talent and charm. In these appearances, Carson would frequently push boundaries and focus on Parton's physical appearance rather than her achievements. However, Parton maintained her grace and professionalism, never allowing his comments to detract from her talent. Beyond her appearances on The Johnny Carson Show, Dolly Parton's life and career are a testament to her enduring legacy in the music industry. Rising from humble beginnings in rural Tennessee, she became one of the most iconic and influential figures in country music history. Parton's unmistakable voice and heartfelt songwriting have earned her countless accolades, 
including multiple Grammy Awards and induction into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Throughout her career, Parton has not only achieved success as a singer-songwriter, but has also made her mark in film and television. From her breakout role in 9 to 5 to her iconic performance in Steel Magnolias, she has proven her versatility and talent on the screen as well as the stage. Number 19. Bette Midler Bette Midler, the iconic singer, actress, and comedian, graced The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson multiple times, leaving a lasting impression with her vibrant personality and undeniable talent. Midler's appearances on the show were always a highlight, showcasing her unique blend of humor and musical prowess. Known for her larger-than-life stage presence and powerhouse vocals, Midler lit up the Tonight Show stage with memorable performances and witty banter with Carson. One particularly memorable moment was when she sang You Are the Wind Beneath My Wings, captivating the audience with her emotional delivery and captivating voice. Despite facing setbacks and challenges along the way, Midler has always remained true to herself, carving out a unique niche in the industry with her fearless attitude and unmatched talent. Her ability to seamlessly transition between comedy, music, and acting has solidified her place as one of the most versatile performers of her generation. Number 20. Janis Joplin Janis Joplin's appearance on The Dick Cavett Show marked a poignant moment in late-night television history. The iconic musician and singer, known for her powerful voice and electrifying performances, graced the stage with her raw talent and magnetic energy. Performing hits like Half Moon and My Baby, Joplin captivated the audience with her unparalleled vocal range and soul-stirring delivery. With every note she sang, Joplin commanded attention, leaving viewers in awe of her ability to convey raw emotion through music. Beyond her unforgettable performance, Janis Joplin's life and career were marked by remarkable achievements and tragic losses. Rising to fame as the lead singer of Big Brother and The Holding Company, she quickly became an icon of the counterculture movement of the 1960s. However, her life was plagued by struggles with substance abuse, ultimately leading to her untimely death from a heroin overdose at the age of 27. Despite her premature passing, Janis Joplin's legacy lives on, inspiring countless musicians and fans alike. Her impact on the world of music and pop culture is undeniable, cementing her status as one of the greatest voices of her generation. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.